I really wanted to talk about one of the things that you mentioned was about the LGBT connection or how that will yep, work, yeah. what's going on there. Interestingly enough, I'd been, again, working on trying to get a position there for about five years after my first trip in 2011. And I did tons of training, tons of seamanship. I went to the Maritime Academy here and learned all about maritime safety and maritime firefighting, um, driving Zodiacs, all of that stuff, which most Antarctic companies, expedition companies require for you to be able to, to work there. And, um, but this has been harder to get a gig than when I worked in Hollywood right out of college. I mean, I think it's harder to get a position. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding, I'm not exaggerating, really. It's been really, really hard because there's, there's so few of the positions and it's so sought after. So what happened here, interestingly, I really have to thank the Velvet Mafia for this <laughs> because, I mean, it was just coincidental, a combination of social media and LGBT networking got me this opportunity. <clears throat> I've been applying for years to this program, 30, 40, 50 different jobs over the course of the years and never gotten a response back. And uh, when I was going last year, somebody in New Zealand saw a hashtag and reached out to a friend of theirs in San Francisco and said, do you know this guy, this gay man who's going to Antarctica? And he said, no. So, but when I got to Argentina, I did a circumnavigation and got to Argentina, this guy pops up and said, hey, I hear you live near San Francisco and we're just at McMurdo. I said, yeah, and we talked, we sort of struck up a friendship. His name is Alejandro Rubio and he worked there several years ago. And uh, I talked about my concern a little bit. I'd love to, but you know, who are, are they gonna take a gay man there? What, you know, how would that work? How close do you have to be? He said, interestingly enough, I have a friend, Daniel Vedra, who's there right now helping facilitate the power plant at McMurdo, why don't you meet him? And he connected me and we became friends on Facebook. And next thing I know, I get an email from Human Resources that says, we hear you'd be a great candidate to come work with us. Wow, wow, Mark. You, that's you, literally how that worked. The, you, you had literally just nailed the power of networking. Yeah. Right? yeah. And, and I liked your, uh, and the Velvet Mafia too. And the Velvet <laughs> the Mafia. Velvet absolutely. Mafia. <laughs> Haven't you heard that term before? Oh yeah, yeah, I love the term and it really, it's a softer, it's a softer hit. When there's a hit that has to be made, it's soft. It's a velvet mafia. <laughs>